Welcome to Too Old and Too Slow. My name's Richard, I'm 50 years old, and I'm learning how to become a racing driver. You may have seen in the previous video that Brands Hatch wasn't a great success for me. On the Friday of testing, I slid off the track into a tire wall and the car sustained some damage. So this video is looking at the damage that the car's got. I'm gonna try and work out how much it's gonna to cost to fix it and how I'm going to fix it. So, let's have a look at the broken parts. So I managed to get the car off the trailer and into my garage. This is the corner that hit the hardest. So as you can see, target at the top, the anti-roll bar is bent. The upper wishbone has been destroyed. Shock absorber, that's been bent. But I'm hopeful I may be able to get that straightened as I can with the anti-roll bar. The steering rack just here, uh, that's been bent as well and hopefully I can get that straightened as well. And the lower wishbone. Just in here you've got the, this component here is the uh, steering uh, tie. Uh, that's been bent, that's off a GT6 and they're relatively easy to come by. So I'll start to strip down and take you through the process. As you can see the radiator's missing. Um, that was removed uh, at Brands Hatch. I gave it to Kevin Mansell, he's a friend of mine who's been an invaluable help over the last year. Uh, he's got connections within uh, fabrication and uh, he's gonna try and get a good price for one uh, to replace it, but an aluminium radiator to replace it. So I'm gonna start by taking off these brackets here and the brackets uh, will hold the new radiator in place. So I wanna get those off and then try and strain them and see if I need to get anything made. So the strip down continues. The uh, front right hand corner has been removed um, and uh, the uprights here which are broken I've ordered uh, a lower and an upper. The steering link, which was bent and distorted, uh, 35 pounds off or 30 pounds off eBay to have that delivered. Big thing is shock absorber. This shock absorber is uh, toast. It's a big split here. Uh, so I've bitten the bullet and I'm going to buy four shock absorbers, so new shocks all round. Those are coming from URS. Um, Bodywork, uh, I've ordered uh, two nose cones and a uh, radiator duct from uh, Crosley, so they'll be coming in a few weeks as well. So I think I've got all the parts uh, on order that I need. Just need to tidy up, clean up, and then hopefully put them on. Unfortunately, my time in the garage was interrupted with work. I did get a chance to fly into Barbados for the first time. But soon, I was on my way back to Europe, and then I found myself back in the garage again. So, I'm back after a bit of that. Flying for a week and back in the garage. So, a bit of an update. I'm primarily waiting for parts. Uh, the wishbones are being made and should be with me relatively soon. The back brackets for the uh, radiator are being repaired and painted up by me. Radiator's on its way and uh, I've inspected where I thought there was a crack in the chassis but it was just a crack in the powder coat. So as I'll show you in a minute that's just been uh, rubbed down, uh, painted and it's all back together again. So not much more to do until we're ready to go back on track and maybe do a little bit of winter testing. My major concern was a crack I found in the powder coat. So I pulled off the right hand panel and I investigated this crack. Thankfully it was just in the powder coat. So I rubbed it down, primed it and then painted it with this gloss paint. It's not a good color match, but it's out of the way and I don't think anybody will see it apart from me. When I was underneath the car cleaning away the mud and the grass following the spin, I noticed that the chassis had been in contact with something. 
this area just here had been ground down. So I imagine that's what bottomed out of Paddock Hill Bend and that caused me to spin off and into the wall. Well, that's what I'm telling myself anyway. Thank you for watching Too Old and Too Slow. That's the end of this video. I've got plenty more things to do in the next few weeks. Once the parts arrive, I've got to fit those, sort out the bodywork, and then set the car up. So it's going to be a while before we go anywhere near a track, but we will be winter testing. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and make comments down below. It's important that I know what you like and what you don't like. So thank you again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.